Well, Lord Tolhe, good timing. Everyone's all worked up because a Highland ship just arrived. This way. Aha! What should we do? Should we take a look? Hey, it's Lord Tolhe. Yeah, you're right. We've never seen him this close. Lord Tolhe, over here. This guy says he's a messenger, but I don't know. Should we rough him up? Thanks a lot. I thought I'd keep an eye out from here. What? I, I've seen you on the battlefield, but never face to face like this, Lord Tolhe. I'm Colgan, General of the Third Royal Highland. Uh, oh, the General of the Third Royal Highland. Uh, I expected the word army or something <laughs> in there. I work under the command of Joey Blight. I'm pleased to meet you. Joey Blight? Could that be our Joey? Yes, Lady Jillian, the sole surviving heir of the Blight family, has officially wed jo uh, Lord Joey. Joey has become uh, King Joey, successor of to the Blight royal family and the King of Highland. Uh, what? Did Joey is married? You two are friends of his. He wanted to you to attend the ceremony, but unfortunately it was impossible. Uh, so what do you want? Some kind of wedding gift? Hmm. No, the reason I'm here today is to make a peace treaty between Highland and the state. I've brought a letter addressed to Lord Tolte, leader of the, the army army. Peace treaty? You mean the war is over? Yes, if negotiations go smoothly, that is. Really, really? You did it, Tolte. I'm embarrassed to ask the the army army leader, but could you take me to the fort castle? I could deliver the letter here, but to provide the, uh, prove that this is a formal peace offer, I'd prefer to do it there. L Lord Colgan, you can't go by yourself. Don't worry, I want you to wait here. Lord Tolhe isn't the kind of uh, isn't that kind of person. I'll see you later. But of course. If it means the war will end, no problem at all. Colgan joins the convoy. Hey, did you hear? The war's gonna end. Finally, I can live in peace. How do you know that? You can't believe a thing those Highlanders say. Okay. You and Joey are gonna settle everything, and then it's just gonna be cook-offs till the end of dawn. Whacking moles, climbing walls. I don't. I don't think so. Maybe doing some fishing. I don't. Mm. The fishing one's kind of bad. Mm, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think. Well, I don't. I have a theory, but I'm not gonna say it. But I think I know what's gonna happen. Necklord comes back. Totally. Dun 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 dun. He's like, actually, this is my fort. Whoa. So this is the fort castle, eh? Amazing. Tilly, let's go see Shu and the others in the Great Hall. Hey guys, guess what? We have a visitor. You're you're Colgan. Damn. Get away from Tolly. Please, don't misunderstand me. I've come to negotiate a peace agreement. Peace agreement? Yes, Luca Blight has passed away, and the current King of Highland, Joey Atreides, wishes only to end this terrible war. Did you say that Joey has become King of Highland? I'm hoping for a peace treaty between the Highland Kingdom and the city-state. We should be signing the peace treaty with the mayor of the capital city of Muse, but it's not possible now. For that reason, I request that Lord Tolhe and Teresa, acting mayor of Greenhill, accompany, uh, accompany me to Muse. This is a letter from uh, Lord Joey Blight. Please accept it. Lord Tolhe. Lord Joey is hoping for peace. Please go to Muse City. Please uh, excuse me. Farewell. Well, please excuse me. Farewell. Okay? That's not what I thought was going to happen. So he wants me to go to Muse to sign a peace treaty. What do you think? Well, it could be a trap. Come on, Joey isn't that kind of kid. 
but Joey Blight has Leon Silverberg as a strategist. You mustn't underestimate him. Could be a great chance. Highland is weak and we're strong. Perhaps we could sign a peace treaty with very favorable terms. But what if this is the trap and we lose Lord Tolhe? What will we do then? First of all, I don't believe that the Highlanders can keep their promises. Don't forget that this war started when they broke the last peace treaty. With Luca Blight gone, we can take Muse and Greenhill back from the Highland by force. Everyone calm down. Why don't we ask Lord Tolhe his opinion? Lord Tolhe, if you say you're going to Muse, we're with you. Please decide. I'm going to Muse. Lord Tolhe, as acting mayor of Greenhill, I'm going to going with you. Shall we depart from Muse? Okay, Teresa joins convoy, that's cool. Hmm. Please bring Chaco here. Uh he may be of some help. Okay, let's go. Chaco joins party. Okay. Interesting. Uh Chaco's also short range. So I uh, know he's medium. Oh he is medium. <clears throat> All right. Well, we'll. This is why Hannah never gains any levels. <laughs> so walk behind Uvalon or too good. Uh. Wow, Chaco has one health. That's weird. Please choose the other members of your party. We did. We yeah. I guess in case I didn't have a full party at this point. Hmm. Wait. Wait. Oh. Okay. Well then, please take good care of yourselves. Hmm. Tolhi, good luck! Good luck! Leave it to me. Tolhi has got the bravest member of the winged horde with him. You can rest easy. Haha, -ha, right Tolhi? <laughs> I'm here too, you know. Lord Tolhi, to get to Muse, let's take a boat to Cornet Town to the north. Hmm. Victor, Flick, I have a favor to ask. Whatever it is, sure it's not good. That's my job. Okay, so the thing that people were talking about is instead of going to Muse, you're supposed to go between, I believe it's like Muse and Rock Axe? So like one of the northern gates? Yep. Yeah, no, I took that's yes, that's how we got to Muse last time from Matilda. I know where that gate is. So we drop here, we oh have a small cutscene. You are Lord Tolhe? I've received word from Lord Joey. Please go in. Very polite, aren't they? Who's that by the dock? Oh. Good eye. At this moment, my heart floats in the sky. Excuse me, I am meditating. What if I just keep talking to you? Are you going to have an easy time meditating if I keep talking to you? You look like you have some cool swords. I feel In like picture. Richmond might have something to say about that picture face. Yeah. We're going to go up here, and then instead of going to Muse, we're going to go to the left. To the left. Uh, time nights. Let's see if you give any experience. Because Chaco, I think, is low level. I forget. Did you heal Chaco? Uh, yes. Okay. I used three medicines. No, that's not worth fighting. It's not giving enough experience. Really, if I want to level these characters, I should head to Gregminster. Mm -hmm. That works yeah, so, so far well. Yeah, that's the best one. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to let the Tigers go. Stallion guarantees that we leave, even if we didn't have let go. But I guess the Lick. Leko is guaranteed to leave anyway, so it doesn't matter. These guys are so weak! And... Almost there. Now this gate is apparently supposed to be closed, but we can just push forward? No way. Whoa! How do you... No, the stupid knights! <laughs> How do you get past the knights? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Are they not supposed to be here? I don't know. Like, I've never done this part before. 
That is, that's the trick to get the door. Try going out and going back in. All right, stop. Yeah, just try to push it just enough. No. Oh, I can walk between. Okay, them. yeah, yeah, nice. That's what I thought. Okay, so you got to push it just the right amount. Now we go to rock axe in, which is I don't remember. Ooh, rare finds potentially. Hmm, nice. Where? Oh, really? Come on. This is the rarest of rare finds. You weren't supposed to be here. They didn't stock up in time. Oh crap! <laughs> well, how do you get here? We were ready. Sorry. Uh. Oh. Hey, you look interesting. Ah, master, master. Hmm, Makaba, you're not neglecting your training, are you? No, no, sir. Um, uh, master. Hey, hold on. You can't just skip out on the check after eating all that food. Huh? Where, where'd he go? <laughs> where, where'd he go? I don't know. Is that the scene? Now, according to the comments, we were supposed to get Wakaba's master early, or... Maybe he's he shows up somewhere in here, and you can recruit him. Alright, and after looking around for a little bit, we found him. Uh, turns out he was right behind the end. Oh, master, master! Wakaba, I see your training has progressed. Yes, sir. As you said, Master, I learn something new every day. By the way, Master, just before you were... Well, the legs are the base of the body and the bases of unarmed combat. Strengthen them and you strengthen your base. Wow. That's great. Amazing. Of course. Huh? Be silent, Makaba. Master... Quiet your mind and body while you train, Makabo. Who is that with you? Huh? Oh, that's right! I'll introduce you. The leader of the, the army army. He uses Tonfar, and his name is Tolhi. He's really strong! Hmm... No! Master! To Tolhi! Phew. Even I, the great Long Chan Chan, could not get past your guard. You have found a worthy teacher, Wakaba. Who is this man? I told you before. The leader of the, the army army, Lord Tolhi. What? Did you say the, the army army? I just said it about a hundred times already. Oh, I see. Lord Tolhi, Long Chan Chan will lend you his strength until this is all over. L.C. Chan joined the group. Wakaba, where is it the Army Army's castle? It's the forecastle. You've already been there once. Oh, that's right. Well, Wakaba, you would do well to learn from Lord Tolhi. Perhaps you can teach some of Kankaku's way of fighting. I'm off to the castle. Okay? Yes, sir. But Master, shouldn't you pay for your meal? Hmm, well, yes, of course. I was just testing your memory. <laughs> I don't know about your master, Wakaba. I don't know. Um, he said he'd already been there once before. I don't... I wonder if that's because we got him out of sequence? I don't know. Crazy. Um, so that's a super secret thing that we did that's cool, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, now I'm gonna check rare finds. Apparently he's not supposed to even be in Rock Axe. Really? He's supposed to find him in another town. Oh, okay. That's why it's, like, this rare thing. But, like, the fact that, like, they knew, like, Konami knew about the stupid bug where you could push the door back and then put him in there as, like, an early recruit. 
I, I right? I, yeah. No, it's crazy. Rather than fixing the bug, they just left it and made it a secret. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do. Well, unless they made that door pushing a feature. Yeah. Uh, that's also possible. Uh, okay, well, we don't have a lot of options here, but let's take a look and see what this guy's uh, attack range is. If he's even a character that can fight, but I imagine he would be. Short. He is, of course, another short range. Whoa! 200 attack. He's level 50! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How much okay. health does he have? 736. Uh huh. I'm he listening. also has White Tiger. Mm hmm. Which means he's also going to be doing a ton of damage. Give him a killer rune right now. I don't know if I have another killer rune lying around. Go, go find one. <laughs> Just get another killer. <laughs> I'm sure Genie has one. Uh, yeah, let's go do that. I wonder if his equipment is even better than everyone else's. Oh no, he's He's got a belt of strength and a power ring. Strength plus 20. <laughs> Alright, well... He's got the Steam Gyoza for the Wombo Combo with Ulan. Which we're never going to get a chance to do. Well, I should probably just set that up. Okay, let's do runes. <laughs> yeah, there's lower life. Hey, what's up? Oh, it's you, eh? What is it? Nothing. Just seeing what you're doing hanging out here. Uh, I don't have what I need, so let's go... I'll go back. Killer? Oh, I, I think it was Resurrection I saw. Yeah, I don't think they... I don't think... Ulan has the killer, and Tolhi has the killer, so I could remove the killer from Tolhi. Did you only have two? I only had two. Hmm. We'll take Draining. And then we will give that to Tolhi in replacement for the killer. Killer to him. Yes. And then we attach draining. Oh. Can't be a head slot. Weird. Hmm. That's kind of odd. Uh, I guess for now we leave Tolly's head slot open. Unless I have another, like, item that's just passive, because I don't want to give him any more magic. Mm -hmm. There's no point. Uh, Maybe, like, sleep her down? But those might only be runes if you engrave them. Yeah, they might be for weapons only. I don't... The only other thing was warrior, but I don't know if I really want to give Tolly the warrior rune and reduce his... Oh, his defense. His defense. We're going to run with nothing, and then keep an eye out for something else good, like another killer rune. Mm -hmm. uh, and then let's head outside the forecastle and get into a battle, and see what kind of unite attacks the master and the student might have. Unite, 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 unite! Something? Anything? There we go. Whoa! What? This game is mean sometimes. Why, why would there be no Unites? I don't because you're only going to be doing White Tiger all the time. I guess that's true. <laughs> that's that's pretty true, actually. Why would you ever want to Unite when you could just be doing White Tiger? Um, White Tiger, he's the fastest. Yep, yeah, okay. He has more strength than Ulan. He has a crazy high technique. His speed is out of this world. His luck is crazy. <laughs> His magic is higher than most other characters. Yeah. But again, that's probably mostly because he's like 10 right. levels higher. <laughs> yeah. But wow, okay, cool. Thank you very much for pointing that out. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, we're going to go with boats. We're going to go with boats. Now the question is, do you use Elsie Chan or uh, Hannah now? Well, that, I mean... That lack of that Unite, like that would have sealed the deal if he had a combo Unite with Wakaba. I think we have to figure out... So here's the thing, is I really liked Hannah and Ulan's Unite because of the fact that it was a buddy attack and it hit a ton of guys. 
we're at a point now where I can literally auto down an entire team, um, like with one or two autos because we have such high damage output. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it's necessarily needed to have the buddy attack style, like attack everyone unite. Yep. And it gives me like a, a great all-around build for fighting bosses too, because I can just wombo combo a guy down yep. uh, with like white tiger, white tiger. Ulan has her fist, and then with Toll, he's Bright Shield Rune, potentially bazooka, bazooka, her, <laughs> bazooka joing, uh, berserking, berserking her, get bazooked, uh, so that she can use her like Ulan, whatever her attack is, I can't remember the rune's name, but using that unlimited time, so like my front line is just going to be smashing face with like <laughs> 300 damage from everyone. I don't know. There's, mm. I think you can even sharpen LC Chan's weapon a couple more levels too. That is also probably a good point. Uh, I don't think this guy is going to be able to do it. I would have had to do it in Couscous. But we can check. Uh, sharpen? Hmm. Yeah, he could go two more, because the guy in Couscous can do... Uh, can do up to 11. He can take weapons to 11. Crank it up. I think we're going to save, though? Yeah. That seems like a good idea before whatever is about to happen. And we're all saved up. Now it's just a matter of going to Muse and signing this peace treaty. And then it's game over, right? Yeah. Just credit roll. They're just delaying it a little bit. They want to sum everything up before they roll those credits. It's time to go see the Star Dragon so Sword. Yeah. Okay, what's going on? Uh, we've got 108 characters that all need their stories wrapped up. Mm-hmm. 